What is going on everybody? Into game here and look at this right here. We are in our conference championship matchup. 2,000 coins, two badges, and a pack, which is our head-to-head -head collectible. Um, yeah, we're going to get a really big head-to-head -head seasons collectible pack opening um, when the new ones come out, the season veterans. So you guys will probably look forward to that. So right here now we are going to the game, and if only... Justin Smith could play some coverage. He would have had that pick easily. So right here now, he's running some uh, slants right there. We almost get the pick with Sean Lee, but unfortunately that doesn't work out. And right here, Cam Chancellor making a wonderful play on the ball. So he's at the 47, third and 10, and he's just going to go back to this slant. Uh, Sean Lee ended up hitting him, and then it messed up my user just a little bit. But Patrick Pearson, you know he's going to lay the boom every single time. So right here now, Matt Forte getting the ball, and he's running that strong... Uh, Strong power, which I was not looking for in this game. This guy literally ran the same three plays all game. As Sean Lee is going to get that nice pick right there. And we're going to get down to the 20-yard line. So it's like nothing happened. It's like he kicked the ball off to us. But yeah, this guy, if you guys don't know who I Maverick is, um, he runs the same exact scheme that this guy does. So this guy uh, kind of stole it from I Maverick, if you want to put it like that. I know a lot of people in the Madden community that do that, and a lot of people in head-to-head -head seasons that do that. And it's like, um, it works really well. Like, I... For, for a while, I couldn't stop it. But right here now, Gronk's going to get that catch. Unfortunately, it's out of bounds. But like I said, uh, it's, it's a really good scheme. And if you can't stop it, you might as well run it, you know? So um, part of it was dropped interceptions, and part of it was just, like, him running the same route. And they were out of different formations, so I didn't know which play he was going to run. So right there, you see we're making a really, really bad read, and Dante Moncrief is going to end up tackling him. So he doesn't get that pick six, but he's at the 26 yard line and we are going to get the user pick with Sean Lee. What a nice pick there. And uh, we are going to be back into field goal range. So like I said, it's like nothing happened. We didn't really move fields at all as Demarius Thomas trying to get this one handed catch like the first episode. And that doesn't end up working out. So we're going to hit Gronk right here on the corner route. And uh, we're in pretty good position right here. 14 seconds left, 22 yard line. And unfortunately, I saw him too late. Could have gotten a touchdown, but we're going to settle for three. You know, I'm all right with it because we get the ball at half, and if we score, it's going to be a two-possession game. So that's going to be pretty nice right there if we do good things. So Devin Hester is going to take the ball out of here, out of the end zone. And you know when he's out there returning kicks, something good is going to happen as he's going to shed this tackler trying to get the heat seeking, and we're going to get down to the 40-yard line. So right here, Amon Green will run the read option, and I juke that guy out, and Otto Graham takes not – that was not – that big of a hit unfortunately but right here Amon Green's gonna tackle him so I was really frustrated because I was like I played this game near perfect you know what I mean so right here now he's gonna go back to that slant route and I'm gonna miss the hit stick but luckily luckily I'm gonna trip him up and we're gonna get him down at the 11 yard line so right here now he is going to his second tight end and I totally adjusted to play that but Sam Shields just didn't want to jump that route so you know I was I was pretty pissed off. So right there, he's going to go to his angle route and be at the one-yard line. And when you're, when you're at the one-yard line, if you don't score, that's really, really sad. So he's going to end up scoring right there, and we get the ball back. Third quarter, and we're going to hit Dante Moncrief. We are running the same exact plays every single time, or for the most part. So he knew what I was doing. So right here now, instead of going to the corner route, we go to Jordy Nelson on the post route, and he's going to get a 53-yard touchdown. Nice play right there by him. Otto Graham just zipping in there in between the two zones, and right there... I do not know how he caught that. I had two people on him, unfortunately. But Cam Chancellor just did, played that wrong, I guess. So right here now, we are going to get a nice sack with Alden Smith. And uh, we're starting to play him a little bit. We got Peyton Manning injured, which was really nice. Calvin Johnson drops a pick, unfortunately. And it is a fourth and nine right here. So this is a pivotal play in the game, and we stop him right there. So we're up 10 to 17 in field goal range. But we need a touchdown to pull it to a two-score game and... You guys know we're going to slide after what happened last time. I was just playing it safe. And right here, running the halfback counter. And amazing blocks everywhere as Amon Green gets into the end zone. He's been playing great for me this season. Um, just like his trucking for me. And all my blocks have been really well, or nice as well. And right here, EA. EA just screwed me over right there. Uh, for some reason, DRC didn't want to run his zone, so I, he ends up getting like an 80-yard touchdown, unfortunately. So right here, we're running some X, uh, X spot, 
I believe it is. So we end up getting the nice uh, gain right there. And then Amon Green's going to rush for eight yards. So he's starting to call his timeout. So it's a second and three, but it ends up being a third and three where we go to the flats. And he has that covered. So it is a fourth and five, and we have to punt him the ball. So th 12 seconds left at the 43-yard line. And he's going to go to this corner route. He was not in field goal range. So unfortunate, or really good for us, but unfortunate for him, he did not get out of bounds. So with two seconds left, he does not get the spike off. We ended up winning that game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, Super Bowl's next, baby. Peace.